Hello and welcome to our demo of our add-on for Act Alpha Link. Now I'm currently sat within the first of the four tabs that you get with Alpha Link, which is the Account and Info tab. And the first feature that I'll show you is how to create a new Sales Ledger account in Sage 50 from within Act. Now you do this by hitting the Create Link button in the in this tab, which pulls up this screen. And now you can interrogate the Sage 50 database to uh, ensure that you assign the account a unique reference. So I'm going to assign it ABC001. Just double check that that's not really in there. It's not. So I can create that company in Sage 50. So if I just hop into Sage 50 now and do a lookup for that account. Well, you can see that it pulled it straight up with the address and contact details as they were set up in ACT. So that is instant, it doesn't rely on a sync and um, as you can see now the sync has run so it's pulled across the financial data that is in Sage. Now obviously it's a new account so these fields are all shown as zero at the moment. So if I go into another customer's record where there should hopefully be some more meaningful accounting data, we can see that in the accounting info tab, we just get a general overview of what the financial situation is with that account. So uh, it gives you some general overview figures, how much uh, the account owes you, what their credit limit is, what they spent with you this year and this month, what their trading terms are, whether the account is on hold, except uh, for instance, if the account is on hold in Sage 50, then this field will show as ticked and you won't be able to process a sales order against that record. So that's the Account and Info tab in a nutshell. Uh, the next tab is the Account and Activity tab. Now this is the nitty gritty of the Account and Data. Um, this is where everything shows, so any receipts, invoices, any credits will also show in here as well. Sales order sits separately in this tab. Uh, and that's a full history of all the sales orders on the on the account. Um, and you can drill down in and look at the line items. So this one was for some PCs uh, and some copy of paper. And the invoices tab is much the same, except it has this field at the end, which will show as ticked once the invoice has been marked as paid in Sage. And again, you can drill down into the invoice and look at the line items. So that's the uh, kind of the visibility side of Alphalink. Um, if I hop back to ABC Haulage's record though, I will show you how to process a, uh, a sales order in Sage from within an act opportunity. So if I move to the, uh, if I create a new opportunity for these guys, give the opportunity a name, ABC quote one. Now if I move into the products and services tab down here, I can add um, I can add products now this is looking at my live sage product database uh, I can also look, I can also check stock levels so if I look at click this view free stock button here I can do a stock lookup and make sure the items that I'm going to quote for are actually in stock so I can see that I've got three PC combo pack fours in stock so I can go ahead and add those to my act opportunity so if I move into the add products button Add in three of those. Now it's pulled for the list for, list price from Sage as well. I can overwrite that if I like. So I've added three PCs to the to the quote there. I'm also going to add a hard drive. So there's a 10 gigabyte hard drive. I need another three of those, and I'm going to set up the list price of 50 pounds. They're also going to need some monitors for those PCs. So I've added a 19-inch monitor there. I'm going to sell it at a bit of a discount this time, so I'm going to offer 10% on this. And finally, I'm just going to add some installation as well. So, I'm going to add £100 in terms of install costs. So, I've built up the act opportunity there. Um, now, once my customer is ready to place an order, I can pr push 
this act opportunity into Sage 50 as a sales order at the click of a button. So if I hit create order, it's going to take the next available sales order number, so number 31, and push that straight into Sage 50. Just refresh the list, and there you can see sales order number 31 has uh, been created there exactly as, exactly as my act opportunity was. So if I allocate the stock, dispatch the order. I've then created the invoice. So there we go, there's the invoice for ABC. Now I'm just going to update the ledgers now. Print that later. Now all of this should be visible against ABC's record uh, once I go back into ACT. So there's the invoice in the Accounts and Activity tab, there's the sales order, and there's the invoice. Now once that's been paid in Sage, that will uh, show a little tick in the end field there as well. Thank you for watching the demo, that was uh, a quick run through of our add-on for ACT AlphaLink.